Hello everybody, this is Martin aka Notepoint from Seenworld speaking and today I want to give a tribute uh, to Tassilo Rao who unfortunately passed away uh, very suddenly last year. Uh, he was also uh, a member of the retro area year after year and um, father of two kids and uh, unfortunately just uh, passed away very surprisingly and uh, we miss him a lot uh, i also want to thank by the way jan and jesse for making also this talk possible um i want to give you a little bit uh, uh tassila rao was a pixel artist and a game designer he was also running an an own game studio and i want to show here you here some some of the works he made uh just to give you a tribute uh, to show a little bit the work that tassilo did so, um, a little bit uh, summary, life of Tassilo, he uh, started uh, quite early at 10 years with uh, doing illustrations and stuff, uh, did this I think for 14 years, he did uh, freelance work uh, also in the games industry and then uh, in 2012 he decided ah just making the graphics for the games isn't enough i just want to do more and then he started to make some own games uh, and uh, then he uh, f founded an own studio it's called uh, bumblebee games and i will of course uh, also show show some of the uh, some of the works from there um I start a little bit just like a uh, chronological this uh, I found online this is an earlier illustration from 2003 um, also from this time uh, just like uh, obviously a, a, a early <laughs> Apple fanboy and he also made some cartoons about uh, I would say Apple insider jokes just like uh, the Mac Mini, just like you know, uh, people want big machines and then all of a sudden the new Mac Mini was sold out. Um, next, I, I think this is quite famous here, it's from Pixel Me, uh, an avatar maker. Um, I will show something about, about uh, Pixel Me later in this talk. Uh, some known faces, for example, this monkey, Herr Kaschke also. We, most, most of us, I uh, think, know this. Um, this is an artwork he did for um, Chris Hülsbeck Piano Collection. This was 2014. Um, he made the design of the book and also the cover. And the interesting thing about this work is if you look at this, this looks like just like a piano uh, keyboard. But if you look closer, then you might figure out that this is actually really pixelated so it's really actually pixel art and not a uh, photo or something um, yeah you just see it on the second side I would say um, here just an impression also of the editorial design um, yeah I think it's quite famous work this piano collection of Crystal Speck most of them know here we have a picture with Tassilo and uh, Chris Hilsbeck, uh, well, in person. <laughs> um, this is something from 2016. Um, it was a um, DMAC fan game called uh, Race Scavenger Hunt, I think. Uh, it's just like a little bit, just like a, a Star Wars homage, just like very DMAC style game. Um, made on Pico 8, by the way. He was also very active in the Pico 8 scene. Uh, this is an illustration I also found uh, he was making for public German TV, the ZDF. Uh, it was a documentation about uh, games in general. So this is also an interesting uh, artwork from an interesting project. It was uh, there, there, there is an, a musician from Canada, it's called Gruber, Gruber Music, it's also uh, active in the Pico 8 scene. And he made some sort of tribute DMAX style album about the Stranger Things soundtrack and needed something uh, visually fitting and he knew Tassilo, I guess, from online forums and then he also made this DMAX styled artwork for 
for the Stranger Things Chip Tunes Edition soundtrack. Um, also, Stranger Things is this here. It's from 2090, as, and as you can see, um, very nice use of color. It's very low resolution, and this is also themed about um, uh, Stranger Things. This here is also just an animated GIF. Uh, I think uh, the, the person there in the picture is, uh, is Jesse, and this is of course the Retro Spiel Shop in Cologne. And this is the first version from this animated GIF. And there's also another one, another version with hearts. So now we come to the games. The first game is uh, Ghost Control. It is from 2014, it was released. Um, and it's uh, just like a ghost hunting management simulator. And there's the trailer with it, uh, also with Tassilo in its acting. <laughs> So this was the trailer. Um, I think this game is still available on Steam. And uh, there's also a second trailer I will show right now. It's more just like about the gameplay uh, of this game. It is this one. If you ever wanted to fight a spook, take a chance, don't it goes control. Fast forward, uh, the next game, it was released several years uh, later. Uh, it's just like a tower defense strategy game. Uh, it's, and the name is uh, Oh My Gore. And yeah, we have also a gameplay trailer for this game.
as you can see, this unique pixel style that was very, very this tuxedo look and feel, I would say, uh, very, very, very unique, uh, remarkable. Um, he was also a big fan of Pico 8, just like I am also. Um, <clears throat> and at Pico 8, he also did some very interesting works. Um, for example, here again, just like a homage DMAX style game uh, of just like a, 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 a farming simulator. As you can see, just like this affinity to pixel art. Um, Another, another very, um, yeah, so Pico Harvest. Um, this is, was also very, very, very interesting uh, project because Tassilo also not only like to make games and pixel art, but also um, teach uh, how to program games, uh, especially for younger people. And uh, then he m began this project that I guess was never completely finished. It was just like 59% done. Um, it's a book uh, called How to Make Games with Pico 8. And there's also a um, trailer for this. I will show you the trailer first. I mean, people who were uh, visiting the retro area at the games, Gamescom knew, knew this book. Uh, it got very, very positive feedback with many uh, uh, nice details in it, nicely illustrated, uh, very well made, especially suited for kids uh, to learn programming with the Pico 8. Um, Pico 8, by the way, is a very good platform to, le to learn programming also. Um, yeah, quite a very nice project. Um, another thing that also Gamescom uh, visitors uh, knew is um, an avatar maker, it's called uh, Pixel Me, um, where you can just uh, design your own uh, avatars for your games or for social media or for whatever. Um, also here, I, at least, I, I, I sense this very unique Tassilo pixel art style. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like this tool a lot. And also for this, we have a trailer. Ah, here are some more examples. Uh, even in a more lower resolution, I think. Yeah, so you can also try to, to catch your own head with this. And so here's the trailer now.
So yeah, Pixel Me. Um, this is one of the last projects um, and really one of my very, very fav uh, f favorite ones. Uh, I, I have to confess. Um, there is um, a German band called Wir sind Helden. It's very famous. I think most of the people from Germany know Wir sind Helden. And the lead singer, um, Judith Holofernes, also released some uh, own uh, tracks. And there sh she um, started um, a, a search for a pixel artist via Twitter. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is that even uh, the tweet was uh, shown to me and I was also thinking just like hmm, ah, maybe maybe I could be the person because I'm also into pixel art who can make this but then I had too much too much work on my table and haven't had the time and then some months later I heard that Tassilo made this video and of course I was very very happy about this then when I heard this and um this is the text, uh, German, of course, uh, f from from uh, from Judith Holofernes' official blog, and where he, she said that she found Tassilo uh, from Bumblebee Games over Twitter, and uh, that he really went crazy with the idea because the idea of the video clip is uh, to make a video with as much as uh, as much as possible eight bit and retro game stuff into this video. And yes, of course, this video I will show you right now. Um, yeah, enjoy. Meine Höhle trinkt, öffne ich meine Augen und schaue es mal in den Teletext. 001, finde ganz nebenbei dein Ladekabel und springe eine Runde Seil, bin spät dran. Zu Glück sind mir die leisen Küsse, zwei Stoßstangen, genug akustische Einparkhilfe und ich steh schon. Paar Dekaden da mit all meinen Halbleeren Telefonkarten an dem Ort, an dem wir uns verabredet haben. Und ich werde auch noch gerne ein paar Jahrzehnte warten. Wir können Film schauen, ich kenn Videothekare und egal wo du hin willst, ich kann nach dem Weg fragen oder gleich ins nächste Reisebüro fahren. Ich meißel deinen Namen, Steintafel. Du weißt ja, wo ich warte, dein Punk. 
Ja, damit sind wir leider schon am Ende angekommen. Bleibt eigentlich am Ende äh, nur noch eins zu sagen. Nämlich, dass wir dich vermissen. Und aber, und deswegen gibt es auch den kleinen Talk heute, äh, das werde ich aber nicht vergessen werden.